out there. Welcome to Mod Tech Monday with Hobby King. I'm Robert, your host, and joining me today is James Bauer, who's one of my colleagues. James has been working with us for quite some time, and James and I go way back. We've actually known each other since high school, so uh, glad to have him as part of the team. If you've been on Chad or the support ticket system, you've probably had uh, some help from James. He's an expert with drones and boats, obviously, also a real whiz with computers and drivers and all that kind of stuff. So we rely on him a lot. So again, James, happy to be have you here. Thanks for coming. Happy to be here, man. So what's going on, man? You've got an inception here. So what's the story? Uh, had a motor and an ESC. Figured why not upgrade it. Okay. Try okay. For a little high-end speed. Okay. Um, we have the Turnigy Aquastar 4084. Let's see if we can show that. 620 kV motor and the Aquastar 200 amp ESC with 12S batteries. 12S. All right, so let's 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 start with that. So this boat normally runs on either 4 or 6S, and you have it running on 12. 12S. So you've doubled it, effectively. It's about a thousand watt more power than the stock motor. Um, wow. <laughs> when you do the calculations, the RPM should be the same. So I was able to use the same prop. 6S prop. Yes. Okay. Smaller success prop. But it seems a bit faster than... Yeah, it should be. <laughs> <laughs> it should be. <laughs> Haven't had a good top speed run yet, but it just wants to get up and go. This is default settings. Okay. Um, there's a kind of a slow startup, but once it gets up and goes, it's gone. Okay. All right. Um, the extra weight, it's, it's about a, a pound and a half heavier. You I was going to say. Definitely notice that in the turns. Okay. Going to have to mess around with that a little bit, get that right. But okay. she boogies. It's got a, <laughs> a Yep 20 amp BEC okay. to handle the high voltage. Right. Um, right. Okay. That's about it. And the Noble. So you're using the NB4 Noble with it? Yeah, we're using the Fly Sky NB4 Noble. Okay. Noble NB4, is that it? NB4, yeah. Um, what do you think of the radio? How do you like that? I like the radio. It's, it's It's got boat settings, but with this ESC, you can't use that setting. Okay. Um, okay. For some reason, the throttle signal is different than, it, than the system is expecting, so you have to use the standard setting for the radio. Okay. I never, you know, it's it's funny. I actually never really determined what boat settings were in the Noble N before. I used the N before as well, and uh, for for cars. Um, and I'm going to use it for my Inception. I've got one of these as well. Uh, do you know what the boat settings? It takes away the brake. Okay, that actually makes sense. Okay, but you can't use the boat setting with this ESC. Okay. Not no. Okay. It won't activate the. It won't arm the motor. Gotcha. Okay. But the way you've got it set up, it works. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's all we need. As long very as well. well. <laughs> Goes that way very fast. If something gets in your way, turn. <laughs> all right. Um, so, all right. Stock servo in there, or did you change yeah, that? Stock servo. Stock servo. Okay. Um, and you've been running it on lakes and all that, right? Fresh water, right? This one, fresh water only so far. Okay. We do yeah. run them in salt water sometimes. If you run a boat in salt water, make sure that you flush out and rinse everything because, um, you know, water itself won't really necessarily damage anything, but salt will. Salt will corrode. So run, you know, run run the boat in a bathtub or something like that just to get the water flowing through all the components, the motor, the ESC, anything water-cooled. Rinse off everything back here and just, you know, just don't let it sit with salt water anywhere near it. I have a water bottle with a cap on it with a tube, mm -hmm. and I actually hook it up right to the pickup and squeeze water right through the whole system. All right, there you go, another great suggestion. That's what this guy's good for, a little DIY stuff. <laughs> All right, so anything else? Oh, so talk about um, this, this huge, huge motor. It's obviously yeah, the, the can's bigger. a little bit larger than the stock. This is the stock motor, right? I believe that's 30, uh, 43 millimeter. Okay. Diameter. Stock Hydro Pro motor. This one's, the, can, the, uh, the jacket's 49 millimeter. So I had to remount the, the mount a little bit just to make room for the, the can to fit as you slip in the mount. There's two tabs on the motor mount that have to slip in. Then you could secure the screws. But if you don't shave that out to make room for the can, 
you're not going to get it in there. Okay. Well, that's why this is a Mod Tech Monday video, because you've got to do some tweaks to make these things work. And uh, But obviously you've done it, you've run the boat, and so uh, so it does appear faster, right? Oh yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> okay. Well, we're we're gonna, we got to get a GPS device, see what the actual top speed is, mm -hmm. a power analyzer to see how much current the motor's drawing would be great. Okay, well I have that. I have a power analyzer. And nice. we'll, we'll get some GPS to do some speed runs. So the objective here was that um, we're going to take a couple, well actually three of these boats, one on 4S, one on 6S, and this one on 12S, <laughs> and we're going to run them all. We're going to see, we're going to do some speed runs and, and just see what the what the difference is. I, I imagine, uh, you know, the difference between the 4 and 6S boat is pretty significant, right? Definitely. I didn't think so. it would be as much because like I said, the calculations with the RPMs is, is very similar, okay. but, but real time was a little different. And you're getting crazy rooster tails out of the back of it? It's insane. <laughs> it's got to be a 30, 30 foot rooster tail. All right. All right. Cool. So we'll get some of that on video for sure. All right. Anything else? Any other uh, tips, tricks, thoughts, concerns? Uh, not that I could think of. Had to, had to remove the latches. To, to, uh, to permit the batteries to fit. Okay. Um, Did you have to do anything else to get the batteries squeezed in there? Pretty tight. It's tight. No, they're, they're tall. Yeah. But a smaller battery would would give you less run time. So, the, so far, a six minute run, batteries were, were half full. Okay. So I probably have another a good nine, ten minute run, taking it easy. Mm -hmm. Maybe seven, six, seven minutes running it hard. Okay, all right. So that's not bad. That's pretty good. Pretty good run time for speedboat. Cool. We'll see. Cool. We'll have to uh, do some testing. Yeah, yeah. So, um, all right. So our plan is to uh, head to a local lake that allows RC boating, and uh, and like I said, we're going to do the test. We're going to do 4s, 6s, and uh, this beast, the 12s. I think you need to put some crazy decal that says, you know, the beast or something like that, or, you know, crazy by the dozen or something. I don't know, 12S, you know, dozen. Bauer power. Bauer, oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> See, again, this guy's, he's, he's, he's got it. <laughs> All right, good morning, and again, welcome to uh, Hobby King's Mod Tech Monday with James and Rob. So, uh, James, this is the 6S boat? Yes, sir. All right. So, uh, all right, well, put it in the water. Let's right See here. what it does. Let's do it. So this is our friend Effie. He's going to help us out with some uh, stuff today, which I'm driving while I'm behind the camera. So James is driving the Beast, the 12S boat we talked about. It looks the same, but it's not the same. It's very, very different. And Effie's driving the 6S you just saw ripping around. We're going to do some speed trials, get some comparisons of handling and speed and all that stuff, and just see how it goes. All right, guys, have fun. <laughs> It's faster.
thanks for coming in again to the studio. Right. Appreciate you having you thanks here. And, having um, you. We're going to have James featured on some more Montech Monday videos and Tips Bench Tuesday videos as well. Again, this guy's a real whiz with the, uh, you know, drivers and all kinds of things like that. So um, there you go. If you have any questions or concerns about this video, please reach out to us on the YouTube comments right here. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, and also TikTok now. So we'll throw some some of the maybe some snippets of this video on TikTok. We have live chat 24/7 and also customer support ticket system, which is 24/7. But sometimes it takes us a little longer to get back to on those. So if you need immediate assistance, do live chat. They're right there. All right. So until next time, we'll see you later. Peace.